We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we record today, the Turrbal and Yuggera people. We pay our respects to Elders past and present. Aboriginal land always was, always will be. Sovereignty was never ceded. Hello, my name is Gina. Hello, my name is Amy. And we are As As Good As As It Gets. Hello. (laughs) I just got confused because it took a little bit to start recording and I thought it was broken. But it's doing it. Like me. Gina, Mm. if you were a song title, you'd be sexy back. (laughs) Because I've got a sexy back. Yeah. And if you were a song title, Amy, Mm. you'd be. (laughs) I'm trying to think of that song by LMFAO. The one that's like. Party Rock Anthem? Yeah, that's (laughs) the one. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Gina, (laughs) welcome to another episode. (laughs) That's a segment. (laughs) That's a segment if I've ever seen a segment. Uh, Listeners, thanks for being here, I guess. (laughs) Uh, And welcome to As Good As It Gets. Mm. My name's Gina. It is. I'm here against my will. Amy? (laughs) Um, Yeah, I'm Amy. I came willingly. So... (laughs) Well, I don't know who in, this is worse right? for. <laughs> uh, Amy, guess what? What? I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Oh my god, <laughs> Gina! <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. I haven't been away from Brisbane oh. since July last year. Spicy Sydney slut. Well, get ready for oh god, that wacky was good. Wit Sunday's witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <no. laughs> uh, I'm going to the Wit Sundays. Oh. I'm staying in a place that has like two pools. Amy, I'm thinking of getting a massage. Oh, Gina, you got to. I've got you got to. I got to. It'd be criminal not to. But like it'd we be said wacky. last week. What you look like from underneath is none of your business. <laughs> none of my business. Amy, however, we have <laughs> when do I leave? Excellent question. Mm. Tomorrow morning. Yes. W- there's been a spanner in the works. Uh-huh. I'll tell you why. Do you what? remember how I was telling you about that wedding guest dress? Yeah. <laughs> so there's there's a stain on it. <laughs> But it's not from me. So, you know when you buy things? <laughs> and, f- okay, so the one I tried on in store had, like, a bit of snagging near the neck. Yes. And I was like, I'm not fucking buying that. Yeah. So, I went and got the same one in a in the same size. Yes. But I was like, oh, that looks like a bit of discoloration on it. But that's lighting or mm. whatever. Whatever. Bought it. Take it home. It's not lighting. Oh. It's like... Because it's a silky kind of dress. It looks like, you know, when you put, when you accidentally spill water on silk and it goes a darker. Oh, yeah. It looks like that. And I'm like, oh, it's, and now it's bugging me. Because when I wear it, you can't really see it. But when I don't wear it, I'm like, it's the only thing I can fucking see. Yeah. So what did I do? I tried to clean it last night. You know what's, you know, what's none of my business? Stain removal. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) So I tried to remove it was it a half-assed effort yes but I also didn't think it would be this hard Mm. so I washed it in like a bucket of water and stuff yes but once the fabric gets wet I couldn't see where the stain was yes yes. so I was like oh well fuck this um and it also says the internet said to like wet it and wash it and then wipe it down with a towel and then hang it out to dry okay I get home from work today and I look at it and it's still fucking there. Mm. Is I, it like the same? Is it any less or? It's, it's the same and it's either my head or the lighting that makes it look worse. Uh. <clears throat> I don't fucking know. Um, hey, where is the stain? On the dress. But like <laughs> where on the dress? 
Like is um, it right like on your boobs? No, like so it's down near the knees. Okay. So it's down near the thigh knee area. Okay. So on the front, on the side. On the front. Okay. And I have no idea how to fucking get it out. Mm. And like I don't want to use like harsh chemicals or shit mm. because I, d- I really want to wear this dress and I yes. don't want to wear the other purple one. Like I will if I have to. Yep. So here I am at a crossroads. Do I go home and do like a vinegar and schmoody sh- sh- moody moo solution and hope that dries overnight mm. or do I take it to the Wit Sundays and ask Joe Blow to get it dry cleaned on Wednesday, hopefully be back by Friday morning? I'd probably do that. You reckon? I'm just I well mainly because you leave in the morning I tomorrow know. and you I want know. it to be dry I and know. also you could make it worse. <laughs> I could make it worse. So I would probably do the dry cleaning. Here's the only thing with dry cleaning though because mm. I used to work in a hotel mm. and maybe it was just my hotel. Mm. But the dry cleaning there was not reliable. Mm. So my only thing is I mean the worst that it can happen is I get to the Wit Sundays and it's this very small stain that nobody looks at and only I know, but it yes. fucking kills me inside. Yes. Um, but if I give it to dry cleaners and they're like, we'll get it back to you by Thursday night and it's not there, mm. the wedding is on Friday. Surely though, like when you stress to a business, like I need it by then, is this possible? Mm. Well, I think I'll talk to them and be like, is your dry cleaning reliable? Mm. Like, will it, you know, 98% come back to me Thursday or Friday morning? Yeah. Yes, great. Please take it off my hands. If they go, sometimes there are issues, I'll go, don't fucking take it. Yeah. Don't lose it on me. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon don't mess with it before you go. It's just so much stress. You know what's stressful? Mm. Holidaying. Because there's so much effort you have to do. I'm so exhausted, Amy. Yeah. I'm so exhausted from organising to go on holiday for five fucking days. Good thing you can relax on your holiday. Well, <laughs> fucking can I? After Friday. <laughs> yeah. It's it's more like there's so much going on with my life mm. and I have a new gig coming up the week after I get back. It's like a – it's a hosting gig. It's okay. not like an acting gig. It's mm-hmm. a hosting gig. Cool. Is it? I don't know. Because I'm like, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity, but I didn't go looking for it. Mm. And now I'm like, I think it's more trouble than it's fucking worth, Uh, but I can't pull out now. Yeah. And I'm like, and they're asking me questions and they're all fucking up in my business. And I've been so busy this week. I've had no time to put energy or thought into that. And Mm. I do not want to put energy and thought into that when I'm fucking beside a beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just been like Can you it's just exhausting. send them like a transparent email and be like, hey, I'm about to be on holidays so I won't be contactable. Talk to you when I get back. <sighs> yeah. I'll, yeah, fucking. I don't know because I don't want to be a cunt, but I also like. Well, that's not being. Huh? That's just being honest. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. It's, it's bloody exhausting. Also, mm. I don't own a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I have a carry-on suitcase that I wait for it. <clears throat> Got from my first year working in the hotel because somebody left it behind. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and like a guy that's been there for 30 years was like, yeah, take it. It's been here for like two months. No yeah, one's right. coming back for it. Because sometimes they leave shit and they're yeah. like, we don't want it. Mm. So that's the only suitcase I have is a carry-on suitcase, which is not going to take me there. And yeah. I was like, that's fine. I have this backpack that I backed packed across Europe with this will hold <laughs> it fucking won't hold <laughs> Gina what are you doing about the suitcase then <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> no so my friend thank the lord for them um they are driving me a suitcase after podcasting oh yeah because I was gonna drive over to them but it's 30 minutes from my house mm just to get to their place so it's an hour round trip and i still have to get home and unpack pack yeah and by the way folks we don't fucking record this at 7 a.m it's not <laughs> i, I it hate 11 30 p.m <laughs> <laughs> i hate to pull back the curtain folks <laughs> 
Um, you should have just got me to bring my suitcase to recording, and I don't even give it, it to you. Don't fucking say that to me, bitch. But you messaged Take me. Take it back. And we're like, do you have a suitcase? Don't worry about it. And I was like, all right, no worries. I, I, I don't know. I t- didn't think of that, to be honest. <laughs> I really didn't think of that. Oh, my God. No, don't ever say that again to me. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll and never say it again because I've already said it. Fuck, that hurts me. <laughs> that physically hurts me. I think it hurts, hurts your me. friend more. You don't really. Shut up because they'll listen to this <laughs> <laughs> and they'll not like me for it. Um, also, one last thing I'll tell you. Uh, to get from Whit Sunday's airport, which is, actu- eh, which is actually Proserpine Airport, uh, to Airly Beach. Mm. It takes about 30 minutes. And you know what Google says? How much do you reckon a taxi is from Proserpine Airport to Airlie? Oh. 100 bucks? Yep. Yeah. 100 plus dollars, they're saying. And I'm saying, no. Mm. I'm getting one of those fucking bus transfers. Oh, absolutely. Slay. I'd get on that. Catch me on a bus reading my novel. I do that any, like, most times that I'll travel. Because I'm like... Really? "Mm." Yeah, because I'm like, I'm not getting a... Well, even an Uber, mm. I'm like, get wrecked. Like, yeah. unless I was sharing with someone and it True. was a bit more affordable, I get on shuttle buses like nobody's All the business. Time. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe because domestic travel to me feels like I'm a- I'm at home, mm. so I'm like, of course I'll get an Uber from the airport to blah blah blah, but it's always expensive and I'm always disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And Ubers these days, I'll tell you something about Ubers. They do peak hour pricing. Which is all the time. Which is all the time. It can't yeah. be peak hour all the time. Nah. So last time I came home from Sydney, I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the pod, mm. but it cost me, well, it was going to cost me on Uber over $100 because it was peak hour. Foul. Fuck off. I took a taxi for 50 bucks. Yep. Taxis, long live. Yep. <laughs> long live taxi. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough about me. I'm going to be on this fucking holiday, stressed out of my mind, but also hopefully not. By the last day, maybe you'll have a day of relaxation. (laughs) And then it'll be like, you're running late for your flight. Yeah. (laughs) And your shuttle's been cancelled. Yeah. (laughs) And we've lost the suitcase that isn't yours (laughs) on the green dress. We can't find it. But here's a pink dress. (laughs) We do have a purple one if you're interested. (laughs) <laughs> no, don't jinx it because my luck, honestly, my luck is so bad. <laughs> Look at my choices with men. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my both just had a moment of staring into the void then. It was very dark. Mm-hmm. Um, Amy, enough about me, except uh. no. <laughs> Tell me, what's going on with you? I haven't... Uh, who, who are you, Amy? Um, I'm about to yawn. Oh, tell me more, saucy minx. Oh, kitty. Kitten. Um, Jane, I want to tell you something. Oh. So, as we know, mm. I recently had a birthday. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's like, And you know what I've been thinking about? <laughs> yeah. My next birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, you have. But I'm thinking about it because it's my 30th next year. 30? It's a big flirty. one. Flirty. Right? 30, thriving. flirty and thriving. Mm. Okay? And I want to have like a big thing. <laughs> big I summer have, blowout. I want to have big summer blowout, like <laughs> super extra and just like a oh, fun time. Oh, that's so great. Not <laughs> super expensive, but mm. because I already know that I want this I'm willing to put some money into it because I'll be saving for like a year yeah and plus birthdays and shit they're so expensive nowadays yeah venue hire everyone has those fucking balloon stands and shit yeah Mm. so I have started like searching around got a few venue quotes there is one can you say the venues or no Mm, no okay (laughs) not on air to all our millions of fans (laughs) oh my god I'll get mugged But there's one that I'm particularly into and I've been there twice before for two different venues, one in daytime and one at nighttime. So I know what it's like. At, oh my like, God, I'm so curious to know what fucking venue this is. It's like, I really like it and included in the venue hire, which mm. regardless of time of day um, is, I'll tell you, yeah, it's 750 for the venue hire. Is that good? That's really good. Wow. For like a space um, because like, and this is not including like food or drinks or anything. Wow. Seven fifty just for like 
the higher of it, which you know, seven fifty. I realize it's not like a small amount of money, but in terms I just of never this event, I've hired thing, a venue, so I in my I I don't know where it starts and where it ends. So yeah. seven fifty, I'm like just for the venue. Well, what? for comparison, yeah. a lot of other places that I got quotes for, yeah, like same thing, not including bar. Um, the next cheapest one was twelve one two fifty for just the venue hire. Bro. For a place not as nice. Cozzy lives and I was like, what? Just for like a a house, a space? No, that's crazy. That makes no sense. Yeah. That's that's none of my business. And for for like no decor or anything. Whereas this place, it gives you like all of like all of your chairs like mm. heaps of styling options blah 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 you cool. wouldn't really and i wouldn't really bring much else other mm. than like if i wanted a particular i don't know photo something, something. setup or yeah. something um and so i'm really leaning into this place but gina i have a dilemma huh? i don't know what time of day it's the biggest dilemma I've ever seen. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for the validation. Ah. Because, okay, so mm. I'm a girly who likes to be in bed at all times, um, <laughs> but particularly at night. Which is why I don't want to do this part. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have the option of doing like the lunch afternoon event uh-huh. or a nighttime event. Yeah. In my head originally, I had been thinking night event because I liked the idea of like night party, birthday, wee. Mm. But the thing that is conflicting me mm. is that the bar minimum spend is half the price during the day oh wow so, so wait what does that mean bar minimum spent so do you have to put money on the bar i don't have to at all like uh, it could just be my guests paying right but they have to at least spend x amount can you tell us how much i guess <laughs> yeah you don't know where it is yeah um so for the day bar spend minimum is 1500 and I do, I do think there are going to be quite a few people there. So I'm like, oh, I think fifteen hundred would be manageable. But the night minimum spend is three thousand, mm. right? So that's not actually saying that I have to pay three thousand dollars. But I do want to put some like a tab down of my own money, and then if it's not reached afterward with people buying stuff, I have to cover the remaining oh. cost. So I'm, I feel pretty certain that it would be reached with the daytime spend but not so certain with the, with the nighttime one. This is hard, Amy, because mm. um, are your friends booze heads? Well, I'm, I'll am i be there. <laughs> so, so I'll yes. take 1500 <laughs> <laughs> Yes and no. Like I definitely have some friends who don't drink at all. I have some who wow. like love a Bev. Um, mm. Like I've got a real mix. mix. Definitely my fam will be on the drinks, yeah. like for sure. <laughs> on the beers they'll be on the beers mm. um but yeah it's is like this <gasps> is this bar do they own like is there also like only wine beer blah no there's quite a selection and i'm not sure of the specifics of like if it's all this the men, like the menu they set through of drinks or if you pick and choose but like there's options of cocktails even mm. wines um beers ciders spirits etc etc mm. mm. that is hard brother yeah so I think did. how many people do you think will come? Well, how I only many, like like when you're thinking of a number, mm. what's your ideal number? Well, I really need to make a list, <laughs> like mm. a potentially invite list, which I just started doing. But mm. I, I say just as in like there's seven names on it. <laughs> and so I'm like, probably more than that. <laughs> I, am- <laughs> probably. <laughs> I imagine probably like 50 to 60. Damn, imagine knowing that many people. <laughs> I reckon that's doable. For which? For where? For who? Because I... I Do you think some people will not come if it's during the day? Um. Well, no, I think the people... I think people who I want there mm. will come whenever it is and it's going to be on a weekend so I know I have friends who work casually and stuff and so that can be an inconvenience having a day off but I would give heaps of notice so that they can roster it off and it's not like a last minute please get next weekend off there um yeah so no it's not that so much I'm worried about it's more so the vision in my head is night party but well for then day do a t- night party. but for daytime budget <laughs> or daytime spend I think if you want a nighttime party, you should do a nighttime party. 
And if you said to your friends, hey, we've got one hour left and we've got $500 on the bar tab and if you fuckers don't drink, (laughs) I need to pay out of pocket, all your friends would go, bet. Well, I know you would, Gina. And for that, I'm so grateful. (laughs) But it's just a thing you do. Hmm. You know what I mean? If you're, I mean, it's not like, it's not, it's kind of like at the end of a wedding or something, not that this has ever happened to me, but like, and they go, oh guys, we've got a hundred dollars left on the bar tab. Come get your drinks. Mm. People do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They go, oh, (coughs) yep. All right. I'll get another wine. Do you Mm. want a wine? I'll get a wine. Oh, we've got 500 bucks left of the bar tab. Is there cocktails on that? Let's put a cocktail but on. But the thing with that is like uh, what I'm thinking is that it wouldn't so much be the bar tab left. It would be the minimum spend. So what I mean with that is like yeah. I'm thinking I'd put like up to $1,500 of a tab on that's so of my much. money. I know. But that's what I want to do because I just want everyone to have a good time. Um, and then it would be an additional 1500 on top of that that people would have to use of their own money to buy drinks. Mm. And so I also don't want to be like, oh, my God, guys, like <laughs> $600 left. Please spend your own money on some uh, drinky drinks. I think three grand is a lot. It's a lot smaller than you think. Oh, really? When it comes to drinks. Interesting. With these cozy lives, a wine is ten bucks minimum. Well, it is. Yeah, the wine glasses I think were like twelve to fifteen. Yeah. And then cocktails were like twenty. Yeah. Spirits were like fifteen ish, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think three grand sounds like a lot, but when it comes to drinks, it goes easily. Hmm. Is what I'm thinking. Interesting. Especially at, insight, especially at night time. And I know mm. I don't really know your friends because I'm but not there, one of them. <laughs> um. And if you were, I'd kick you out anyway. <laughs> but there's also what a variety of people. Like there's, yeah. there's people who like in their own groups will probably go and like party afterwards. Yeah. I will go to bed. <laughs> But, like, there's different groups who, like, like fam groups, different friend groups, f- friend groups who will know random people of, mm. like, different groups, blah, blah, blah. Like, it'll just be <laughs> all the people I know in one room, which will be really nice. But, they, yeah, I'm not really worried about being like, oh, my God, I'm having a big, like, party and only three people are drinking. Like, I think you'll be fine. If you want the night party, you should do the night party. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying about that. This is good food for thought. Anyway, we've been we've talking talked for a long so time much <laughs> about venue hire. I'd like you to know, Gina, that we've been talking for 22 minutes. <laughs> and I love these half hour episodes. Fucking hell. <laughs> Give me that pronto new month's <laughs> resolution update, Gina. Well, I'll tell you, I haven't started the acting lessons yet. Oh. So it's going well. Are they. But uh, in pro, like they're in motion. The okay. Because she emailed back and was like, <gasps> are you s- confirming that you're doing the classes? And I said, confirm. Oh my God. But like, she's like, here's the, you know, the, it's this much money to do it. I'm like, great. Where, when do I pay that? Are you Where do I put s- it? Yeah. Are you going to send me the link, babe? Yeah, Cause I'm right. waiting TikTok. Yeah. Um, okay. And I don't know when she's going to send the material either. Mm. Mm. I don't know how this works. When are the classes meant to start? So today is Tuesday. Yes. I mean, Monday. I mean, <laughs> a day. <laughs> it's a day. <laughs> and it they start in one week and one day. Okay. Okay. So, but I'm going on holidays tomorrow. Yeah. So, that's... Future Gina's problem. None of my business. <laughs> Amy. Yeah. What's, what was your new moment's resolution? Mine was to, like, not base my happiness oh, yes. on the status of my health and you know what and i've actually been doing a really good job <gasps> oh well because you got a new doctor slay yeah so it's all <laughs> it is helped by having someone who takes my health things more seriously um but no i think i'm actually doing that quite well and i'm but i'm very conscious of it too so i'm not just being like um oh, i'm doing all the like health things right now it's more so like i am noticing if there is something else good happening i'm like oh this is a thing that i am allowed to be happy or excited about that has nothing to do with what's going on with my body you know what that sounds like to me amy Mm. mindfulness (laughs) yeah and you know amy and i we love meditation gina loves it mindfulness loves it being in the moment i love yoga (laughs) namaste Namaste. Is that racist of us? 
I don't think so. I don't know what that means. So racism. <laughs> And that's why I can't be racist because I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. Never seen it <laughs> once. None of my business. You know what I'm saying? God, no, that is a bit that's, racist. Yeah, yeah. no, just, it's everyone's business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, um, yeah, look, good on mm, us. Truly. <laughs> We're doing great. We're doing great. I can't wait to see pics from the wedding. <gasps> Oh, I hope on. the dress works out. I swear to God. It's going to be fine. Thank it's going to be fine. And also, there are no single men going. Oh, yay. But I will be taking a set of lingerie just in case. Jace, you never know. I'm I'm in a hey. hotel room by myself on a balcony looking out into the ocean. Oh, my God. You got to. I deserve to get There might sex. be a good hotel <laughs> bellhop. <laughs> I'm going to hang out at the bar every night like, hello. In your lingerie. <laughs> They're like, man, please put on some clothes. And you're like, but the man. I'm on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, what got you good this week? Oh, Gina. Mm-hmm. I've got great news. Do you? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. um, I love Nando's. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Mr. Nando was Mr. my father. Mr. Nando. <laughs> yes. And uh, this week I had enough peri-peri points to get a free meal. Ah. Oh, and so I got there a free it is. Whole free meal. Fuck yeah. From Nando. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is as good as it gets, God, man. it's good. Yes. And it just tastes better when it's free. Yeah, it does. You know? My parents taught me three things. Mm. <laughs> Come when you're called. <laughs> In what context? <laughs> Gina! <laughs> If uh, treat people how you want to be treated, mm-hmm. and three, if it's free, take all you can, give nothing back. Mm, yes, <laughs> and that's words I live by. Yeah, truly. <laughs> um, Amy, I'll tell you what got me good this Please. week. Please, I've been seeing a fair amount of a fair amount, a fair amount, <laughs> fair pheromones. All these pheromones. <laughs> There's so many pheromones <laughs> around here. <laughs> Get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> a fair amount of theatre lately. Oh, yeah, you have. It's and Good it's been you. really lovely and really slaying. Oh. I went and saw a musical on the weekend, which shall not be named. Okay. But it was really good, and I've never seen this musical before. Um, and my friend was in it. He was a sleigh. Oh. And um afterwards we were talking to him, la 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 la, and there was a guy in this production. Um, who was playing like a straight edge dad, basically like your white of whites picket fence mm. dad, right? And the first entrance we see of this dad is him coming out with his family and what's he wearing? A Make America Great Again mm. hat. And I was there with my friend and we both looked at each other like, oh my God, that's a choice. And then we were talking to my friend afterwards. That wasn't him, by the way. He didn't play that character. No, no, no. Um, and we were like, yeah, what was with like the hat? That was like a bold choice. La, la, la. And he was like, yeah, nobody asked him to do that. He just thought it would be funny. So he bought it for the character. And we were like, <laughs> but now you have the hat mm. and you just sent money to mm. someone. <laughs> and then Morty, uh, the director, 38 year old man, was dating a 19 year old. I know. And the 19-year-old, like, um, wanted to be in the production because she wasn't seeing him much. And then the director uh, cheated on the 19-year-old <gasps> with a 30-year-old. But the 30-year-old came to rehearsals and I don't think she knew that the 38-year-old director had a 19-year-old girlfriend. Oh, my God. Well. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then so this was all happening towards opening night. Opening night happens – director hasn't been seen since and i went and saw it on closing night and he didn't come to closing night what i know (gasps) and the 38 year old director um met the 19 year old at her place of work and pursued her for three months how do you know all this (laughs) because the 19 year old came up to us (gasps) and told us (gasps) I've never <gasps> met this. <laughs> I've never. What? I know. I never met the nineteen-year-old in my life. 
I mean, checks out. Like when you're 19, you're oh. like, here's everything about me ever. Take them down. Oh, yeah, 100%. And she was like young to the point where she was telling us this. And I was like, how old are you? And she's like 20. And then my friend looked at her and she was like, okay, well, in three months, I'm 19. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Jesus. And when she met the director, she had just turned either 19 or 18. Like it was oh. fresh. Fresh. Ooh, ah. Yuck, 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 yuck. Theatre is incestuous. So sometimes. incestuous. <laughs> and I was like, this is, okay, the production was good, but this is better. <laughs> Make a show about this. Yeah, fucking hell. Jeez. The director, yeah, fucked, hey. But that's why I love theatre. <laughs> Not because of creepy 38-year-old directors, but tea. There's always mm, tea. There is always tea. <laughs> I don't know what accountants talk about, but fuck me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be you that they talk about? or <laughs> Couldn't be me. Can you imagine me going into accounting firm and being like, oh, Jill, you are <laughs> on my wit Sundays. I slept with a bloody, bloody, blah, blah. And then the bride did this and the maid of honour did that. And Jill's like, I just had pizza on the weekend. Jill's like, have you seen on TikTok? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You know exactly what I'm, yeah. I know. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's, yeah. It's good, It could it? never be me. I need people <laughs> to be no wild and crazy. I'm no context to the listeners. I just want them to know, yes, we're on the same page. It's hard to d- describe as well. Yes. But if you know, you probably know. And yeah. if you don't, that's fine. Mm. Get on TikTok more. Stop hanging out with your spouses and oh, your children and yeah. reading your books. Yeah, go on get TikTok. Off it and get on Instagram and follow <laughs> us as yeah. good as it gets pod. We post so often. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Anyway, Amy, this has been great. Hasn't it? Well, Gina, yeah. Have the best time. Be safe. Thank you. I'll take updates. Will I? No. I never remember to take photos and shit. Take photos or I will be so angry. Oh, my God. Amy gave me the scariest (laughs) look. (laughs) I'll take photos. Please don't hurt me. (laughs) Okay, I'll take photos. Okay. Well, Amy. Gina. You look nice. So do you. (gasps) And we are (laughs) as as good as as it gets. gets.